So, is Godot the new Unity? Well, no, because Godot is Godot and Unity is Unity. But Unity recently made an incredible mistake, as they changed their annual fee into charging developers a fee every time someone installs a copy of their game. And you can kind of see how this will cause a little bit of frustration within the community. But along with this, they made a couple other mistakes that turned this into a Unity disaster. And tons of developers are fleeing the engine and looking for something new. And from this, could it be possible that Godot becomes the new go-to engine for new or even advanced game developers? And the answer to that is maybe. But let's look into the exact reasons why. So this pricing change now makes Godot one of the most accessible completely free game engines on the market. It's so easy to download it might take a max of 5 minutes from deciding to download the engine to typing your very first lines of code. It's completely free no matter how famous your game becomes, you'll never have to pay a dime. Unless you want to chip in a dime or two for a donation to help the Godot engine become even better. There's also countless tutorials of Godot on YouTube and I'm currently working on mini tutorials for the Godot engine. And the engine is so friendly for new users as the interface is so simple and easy to maneuver and it works pretty incredible. But if you're moving from Unity to Godot, you can use many different languages, either ones you, that you have used in the past, like C Sharp, C++, Visual Scripting, or maybe you want to try a new easy to learn language and that's Godot's own, the GD script. Now what makes the GD script so spectacular? GD script is built in a structure to allow developers to write code much faster and more efficiently than most other languages. This is because of many different reasons. But just one of these reasons is because GDScript is built more like the English language than most other all-purpose coding languages. This means it is very easy to code and read and understand, so whatever you code will be extremely easy for even a non-coder to understand. And this is very helpful when you have to go back and read through your code. And Godot even has this search bar built into the program, so if you're not understanding how certain code works and you're able to search it up within the Godot help library and learn how each section of code is able to be used and how it functions with other code. The simpleness of GDScript also ties into Godot's modular and simple node system. Yes, simple node system. This doesn't mean it doesn't work well or it's not a good system because in my opinion it is one of the best ways to create games. Just because of how easy it makes everything. The Godot nodes are basically building blocks and you can use them to create trillions of different combinations to make anything. For example, a simple player scene would consist of a character sprite 2D as the parent node and a sprite 2D and a collision shape as the child nodes of the character sprite 2D. Then if we add a script to the parent we can access all the other child nodes in this scene. So if we add this script to our character sprite 2D, it will add a basic pre-made player script and we will have a basic little player scene complete. This makes creating things super simple and helps keep your game very organized. Now let's go over the pros and cons of both engines and compare them for a quick moment. Some of the pros of Unity are its performance, cross-platform support, a large asset store, and a very strong community. And some of the cons of Unity are its licensing cost, its learning curve, and it's a pretty bulky system. Some of the pros of Godot are its performance, its open source, no licensing cost, lightweight engine, and it's constantly updated freely. And some of the cons of Godot are its limited 3D capability. It's a smaller community, but this community has a huge opportunity for amazing growth, and I guess the lack of popular games. I don't even know if this should be a con for the engine, as we know one is bound to release sooner or later, especially with the wave of developers coming into the engine as we speak, and for all we can know it could be your future game if you start creating games with Godot. In conclusion, choosing between these two engines comes down to your personal preference, but with the Unity disaster going on right now, I feel like this gives Godot a huge opportunity to take the place of Unity in being the go-to game engine for developers looking to get into game dev as, it as it's easy to access, it's completely free, it's very powerful, it's open source, and with its huge growing community. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and i would love to ask if you could go down below hit the subscribe button and drop a like on this video as it would mean the world to me i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time bye bye